Hello there crafty friends, my name is Linda Dolkey and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Australia and today I'm going to show you something quick and easy but so effective. This card, um, I think it's quite beautiful, it has been created very easily with this gorgeous new flowering foils designer series paper. Now I'm excited about this, this has just come out today, today March the 3rd and it is available in Australia. Uh, for, as a free item, a gift with purchase when you place a $90 order. So any order of any products at all and this could be one of the items that you can choose from for free. There's actually lots of others so contact your demonstrator uh, or myself if, um, if you'd like to see what else is available. These are one of my favourite things. These are called flowering foils and they are just beautiful. There are four different designs in the pack and there are three sheets of each. So 12 sheets in total and there's this gorgeous one we're using today which is the rose gold or copper kind of look with the silver foil. There's this one here with um, there's like crisscross designs in the rose gold. I don't know if it's rose gold or copper. I probably should know that, but they're very close in appearance. I think it's rose gold. Um, and the, like I said, three sheets of those ones. Then there's three sheets of this one, which is a, a floral in silver foil, which is just beautiful. And I'll be using this one in another video coming up later in the week. Um, and this little guy here, which has got these cute little daisy like flowers in uh, the rose gold with silver centers and that's really pretty and I'll show you a different technique another day with those as well so I'm going to be showing you lots of different ways that you can use these but this way is very very simple and it's just some simple sponging with sponge daubers so I've already cut my piece of um, flowering foils paper and I've cut it so that it's going to fit on a card front and I've actually cut it so it's a little smaller in fact, let's start by actually folding a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And you should be able to see this one is slightly smaller than this one. And this one is slightly smaller than this one. I'll put the measurements up for you on the screen. Okay, but you can see that we end up with like a little bit of a border and the reason I've chosen this color I think whatever color you've decided you're going to sponge your flowers in that's a great color to actually make your um, Layering piece behind this piece of paper. So my main color is going to be blackberry bliss So I've chosen blackberry bliss cardstock, but you could choose any color you like today I'm going with Blackberry Bliss and Calypso Coral, which you might think, hmm, that's a strange combo. But this is a combo I've used a few times before. I actually really like these two colours together. I think they work really, really well. And that's what we're going to use. So I'm opening up my uh, Blackberry Bliss, Bliss pad. I say that too many times together. It's a bit tricky. Um, and we have a sponge dauber, and I'm just going to dip it straight into the ink pad. And starting in the very middle, of my just very lightly to begin with because I don't want the, the ink to go on too heavily I'm just going to go around and around and around and get into bigger and bigger circles so you should be able to see this is actually really really very pretty and it's soft and beautiful right from the very first time that you do it okay I'll move on to another one how quick is this so all the hard work is done for you. It's like if they're beautifully embossed, but you haven't had to do the embossing. And given that they're a free item, if you're trying to decide what to get as your gift with purchase, this is definitely one that I'd be considering. It's absolutely beautiful. Start in the middle, get bigger and bigger. A little bit more on that one. So you should be able to see how quick and easy this comes together. Really, really, really simple. Um, then, as I said, I like to, to pair this one up with Calypso Coral. I think Blackberry Bliss and Calypso Coral work well together. And I'm going to use this for my flower centers. So I'm just going to um, pick up some ink. And I'm actually going to just make sure I don't have too much ink on the end of my pen. Just get rid of any excess. Start very, very lightly. And this just, it almost gives it a um, kind of a a burnished look there in the middle. You could of course just do the Blackberry Bliss if you prefer it, but I like the second layer of colour. Very, very quick and easy once again to do. Sponge daubers are fantastic. You can pick them up very, very reasonably and there's five in a pack and use them 
for all kinds of projects, but this is one of my favorite things to do. All right, so you could leave the leaves just as they are. As you can see on mine, I actually did color them. It looks nice both ways. I'll show you how I did it because it's slightly different technique to the flowers. So I'm actually going to use Mossy Meadow. I find Mossy Meadow car, uh, ink is a fantastic color to go with almost everything. It's a good neutral green and that's why you do find it in the neutrals color family. Once again, daub it straight into the ink, get rid of any excess. Now this time, because my leaves are much smaller, I can't really go around in circles. So what I do is I turn my dauber on the side and very, very lightly and gently sort of push the color from the bottom of the leaf out. If you do go a little bit outside the lines, don't worry. Because it's a soft look, it's kind of forgiving as well. All right, so once again on the side, spread the color out. Now, totally up to you. I would call this a finished piece, but if you wanted to, I'll bring this up close so you can see it. You might be able to see there's a little bit of splattering here. I actually did that by using a, I flicked a, an aqua pen with a little bit of um, cherry cobbler ink or you could do blackberry bliss ink but the cherry cobbler kind of met, uh, came in here as well but I might show you um, how to do that on another another video but I'm actually going to use it just like it is because I think it's really pretty so I'm going to use some snail adhesive which is quick and easy again quick and easy what is in my mind what it's all about who wants to spend forever and ever and ever on a card unless you're making a piece of art I guess but I don't know I reckon this is pretty cool it looks nice and then that will end up on here okay the last thing I wanted to do is add a sentiment um, and I'm going to use the forever blossom stamp set I like this little one that says always and forever you can see I used it here as well oh, I've already got it out and I'm going to use my blackberry bliss ink and I've just got a strip of white cardstock here, just there in the middle here. And I'm going to use this punch. Now I can never remember the name of this punch. I don't know why. My, mm, I'd like to say what it is, but I might make a mistake. So I'll pop it on the screen for you. That'll make it easier and I won't get the name wrong. It's something label. I know that. Modern label maybe? Oh, I shouldn't be saying it. Anyway, it's whatever it is on the screen. And you could use um, on this one, I went around this in the same green that I've already got on my sponge dauber. On this one, I might just go around it in my Blackberry Bliss. So I also use my sponge daubers to edge my work because I always think that looks much nicer. It makes it look finished, like you care about the edges as well. All right, and I'm going to put a couple of um, Stampin' Dimensionals behind here. Just pop that right on there you could call that finished or if you prefer you could do as I've done with this one and I've added a little ribbon I just tied the bow and then used a glue dot to attach it here to this piece and this piece will go on the um, the piece of white whisper white cardstock and that'll be a finished card I'll pop them up on the um, on my Instagram page for you and Facebook page and um, if you'd like to find out any more about purchasing any of these products if you're in Australia and you don't have a demonstrator but you'd like to get your hands on some of these things please contact me um, I'm very happy to help you have a lovely day and um, I'll be back with more about what you can do with this gorgeous flowering foils paper remember it's available for free with a $90 order have a great day guys bye bye